Smita Gupta, I played out that bite essentially for our audience to listen to what really Rahul Gandhi said between what the Congress is claiming and the BJP is claiming. Pooja Tripathi, I'll just come back to you. I have two more panelists to go to. Let me just go to them and I'll come back to you. Smita Gupta, what you witnessed in the parliament today as a journalist, how do you really look at it? One, of course, Rahul Gandhi has created this entire furore about um, what seemed to have been a pitch that BJP led in terms of being a voice for the Hindus in the country. He has he seems to have gotten into that territory directly, but he's also made some very strong statements on NEET, um, even on Agni V, something that the opposite that the ruling front has said parts of his speech need to be expunged. In, in in several aspects for that matter. But Smita Gupta, how do you look at what's unfolded? Well, you know, you played out the clip. That was a very good thing because it makes it very clear what Rahul Gandhi said. Rahul Gandhi basically said, this is a land of non-violence and not one of fear. And then he gestured towards the BJP and he said, you say that you are Hindus and yet you preach hatred. So it was very, very clear that he was referring to the BJP and its, uh, you know, cohort, the BJP MPs, the BJP party, and those associated with the BJP as using religion to uh, distort the meaning of Hinduism. That is what he meant. He, he even gestured towards them if you watched uh, that clip closely. So uh, for the BJP now to try and twist that uh, and say that he's referring to all Hindus is completely wrong. That's number one. Number two, surely the BJP has got the message of the results that came through in this election. The politics of hate, the politics of using Hinduism to, uh, you know, uh, demonize uh, the minorities in this country and to demonize everyone else has been felt. And the same goes with things like Agni Veer. He raised the issue of Agni Veer. I traveled the length and breadth of Uttar Pradesh in these elections. And let me tell you, I did not oppose the question to people I was meeting. When I asked people what their problems were, people themselves talked about this Agni Veer scheme and how this was going to destroy the careers of their children. Because this is a four-year scheme. It, it, it doesn't promise any kind of permanence. For the communities, especially who go, who for whom the army is a tradition. I had young boys telling me my grandfather was in the army, my father was in the army, but I'll never be in the army because of this scheme. So it is not something that Rahul Gandhi has invented. It is something that was on the ground. This is what people are feeling. And he is expressing today the reasons for that. If the Agni Veer scheme was such a smash success, the BJP would not have been reduced to these numbers if people had accepted uh, mm. the views okay. of the okay. uh, BJP on what Hinduism stands for. Okay. They would not have been reduced. They haven't got a simple majority. Why? Okay. It is because of these reasons, because people have seen... Varun Singh, all this. how do you look at what Smita Gupta is saying? Smita Gupta is saying this is... Rahul Gandhi, this is the Congress, this is the opposition taking charge of what they are meant to do as a voice in the parliament. Uh, Sneha, firstly, and I would like to answer I did one give of a little questions. longer I time to Smita to Gupta. You will get the same time as well, Varun Singh. Go yes. ahead. No, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm not asking for time. I, I just said uh, I wanted to answer your question to what you posed to Mr. Uh, BJP spokesperson about expunging. You know what the BJP is asking for to be expunged directions by the speakers there's a rule book that has to be followed by the parliamentarian there are certain things there are allegations made by rahul gandhi for example he said that the government had called the farmers as terrorists which the bjp has denied which the mps and the government denied saying that he needs to authenticate it rahul gandhi also said that uh, you know there was no consultation before getting into the agni veer scheme which does not categorically said that this isn't the case. 158 organizations were consulted. He also said that certain states, BJP rule states have gone, get uh, you know, uh, foregone MSP. That is what was clarified by Mr. Shivrat Singh Chauhan. As per the directions by the speaker, the rule book that is followed by parliamentarians, it is mandatory. The moment a parliamentarian raises any question on any of the other parliamentarians speaking over there, the, they have to authenticate their allegations. And that is what Amit Shah also 
after the speech got over of Rahul Gandhi, he asked the speaker that there are certain portions, there were allegations which needs to be authenticated as per the rule. And that is what the speaker has allowed. Now, Rahul Gandhi made all those allegations and that has to be now authenticated by him. On what basis did he say that? And those proofs have to be given. And now the, the ball, the ball is in his court to prove all those allegations that he made. For example, he made an allegation that his party gives more importance to Kong, uh, to women. Whereas the reality is that BJP gave 69 MP candidates, women MP candidates. Whereas the but Congress Varun, gave how many, how so many leaders, and you how many political leaders or political parties have been asked to authenticate, you know, if you look at the history, you know, I mean, politicians okay, are people, known to speak know, sentences you know, the way Sneha, they do with Sneha, whatever Chaska Maska... No, 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 no. That isn't the case. So, theek hai na? So, itne logon ne kuch bhi kaha chalte raha. Now, if you're following the rule book, then everyone has to go through the rule book. The the opposition also, Sogata Roy, the TMC MP from Dum Dum, he got up. He also raised that issue about uh, you know how the uh, direction of the speaker should be followed. Where he said that how can while uh, Rahul Gandhi was speaking, how could leader of uh, leader of the ruling parties could get up and question in between or interfere? The speaker said. 102, the rule book say, categorically says that Art Section 102 allows anyone to speak if the speaker allows. So there are certain things that needs to be done. And also about Ms. Ms. Gupta, I'm very surprised. Now she wants us to see the attack on Hindus by Rahul Gandhi via the prism of pragmatism. When he attacks the Shakti, they all expect us to see the see it with the prism of pra pragmatism. Oh, he wasn't attacking Hindus. He categorically says that Hindus were violent. I don't care whether he, he has problem with the BJP. He should say BJP wallas are, are violent. Why did he use the word Hindu? Is Hindu the B, is Hindu a word he says, that has been... Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. BJP? Did he say, Jo apne aapko Hindu bolte hai? So he hindu doesn't he start with, Jo apne aapko Hindu bolte hai? Eight second. So Pooja, eight second. Pooja ji, here Congress And moves on to speak hai. about the BJP, calling the, naming the BJP. No, no. Eight second. How is it naming the BJP? Jo apne aapko Hindu bolte hai. I call myself a Hindu. I am not a BJP member. Pooja calls herself okay. a Hindu. She Pooja is a BJP member. There would be multiple Pooja people. Pooja Tripathi, no, Varun is... Singh is asking yeah, a question. Pooja, Pooja Tripathi, Pooja. Varun Singh is asking a question. Answer that. So, uh, Varun, wo jo, what Sneha said, Jo apne aapko Hindu kehte hai. Why did he raise an uh, objection? When this was a brilliant rebuttal by Rahul Gandhi, ki who Narendra is, Modi is pura Hindu samaj nahi hai. no, no, I don't think we need to get into the credentials or anybody establishing themselves whether they for whether they are Hindus or not. I don't think this show is really about that. Of course, there are political narratives that really need to be succinct, but let's not get into asking or establishing. But I have a Hindu and I don't follow. Achha, you are asking about Puja Sure, but don't ask her about her personal belief in whatever religion. That's her personal matter. Oh, they don't have a copyright on Hinduism. Let's be clear about it. They don't have a copyright on Hinduism. It's not about a personal matter. I'm not saying. So that is what I said. Rahul Gandhi doesn't have a definition of Congress. Eight seconds. I don't care